So where do disc problems come from? Well, I get asked that question as a chiropractor pretty much daily. And what happens is, is your discs are actually designed to last you 150 years. But what happens is your biomechanics gets altered in those discs. Uh, the stress points change so that they start to wear down prematurely. Let me show you this. Uh, this is a uh, what we call a four bone set. And you can see here, this is a normal, healthy disc. This one here is about 10 years of degeneration. This one here is about 20 years. And then once we get over 30 to 40 years, we start to see the disc getting significantly smaller. In this case also, when you look at a normal healthy disc, there's openings there for the nerves to come out. They give them plenty of room where they can come out the neck, go down the arm, or come out the back and go down the leg. And as long as the disc height are nice and full, then you have enough space for that nerve to come out. But as you can see with this one, as they start to get smaller, they, the disc can actually start to bulge to the point that it can affect the nerve that goes down the spine. Now, what creates this? I have people that come into me in their 90s and their spine still looks like this. I have people that come into me in their 20s and their spine's already starting to look like this, starting to be degenerated, starting to get bone spurs. And then people in their, uh, even their 40s and 50s with uh, fusions going on where the bo bones have actually already grown together. Now, what happens is, is we have these three major curves in our spine. In the neck, we go forward, the upper back goes back, and then the lower back goes forward again. And those curves are there to give us a little resiliency, a little shock absorber, right? Because gravity's constantly pushing down. We have this big bowling ball, right, that sets up here on top, and it's there to give you some give. Now what happens is, is something gets out of alignment, something typically the top, very top of the neck, and what it'll do is it'll change the position of your head. So let's say, for example, the bone took your head uh, forward like this. Well, so the brain doesn't can't be bent down. The brain has to be level always, okay? There's something called the riding reflex. It's a reflex that is there to ensure the brain's always level, not just this way, but also this way. So if one of the bones in the neck get out of the line, change the position of the head to get the brain level, it might force the body to do this, to get the head back over the, the shoulders. As a result, you end up with a loss of curve. Now, as you lose the curve, you start to lose this and you get more of this. So now with gravity pushing down, what happens now are the discs start to get thinner and they start to wear down prematurely till eventually you can start to have bone spurs starting to appear. Now, bone spurs won't hurt you, okay? Body put that there in an attempt to try to protect that disc. What it tells us is there's a lot of stress at that particular level and your body is trying to protect that disc by growing a little bony bridge around it. It doesn't mean that the bone spur is going to start to cause pain down your arm. The pain down the arm or down the leg comes from the disc that's actually bulging backwards affecting that nerve. So normally if you look at this curve here in the neck, the disc bulge out towards the front. They kind of wedge towards the front side as they're supposed to. But as you start to lose that curve that starts to go this way to the point where it can go this way and then the disc comes backwards where that nerve is that goes down the arms, down the legs. So medicine doesn't have a lot of options, right? I mean, they have drugs and surgery, and so a lot of times they'll give you a, a medication or even uh, shots or something that'll numb the pain, right? But the underlying structural problem's still there, and if left alone, eventually it could lead to a rupture disc, uh, surgery, uh, which surgery doesn't have the best uh, performance odds when it comes to disc and, and back and neck surgeries. So what you need to do is find out what's caused this whole situation, what's caused the disc to degenerate, what's caused the disc to thin, to bulge, to herniate. If you can find the cause and correct that cause, then you can stop it without drugs or surgery and prevent it from getting worse and worse to the point it could end up in, in a bigger situation, right, with a ruptured disc. So what I would suggest first thing you do is always go least invasive, okay? Try to find an upper cervical chiropractor uh, that focuses on 
this types of situation. Find one near you. You can Google it. If you can't find one near you, call our office. We'll do our best to find the closest one near you. If you live in the Charlotte area, Matthews, Pineville, Mint Hill, uh, Gastonia, even South Carolina, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, uh, Huntersville, give our office a call. We're the upper cervical doctor for you, and we can at least tell you, do you have an upper cervical problem that could be creating the disc issues that you have, whether it's in your neck, upper back, lower back? If so, we'll explain to you what we need to do to fix it. Matter of fact, I'll offer you, if you tell them you saw this video, we'll give you the initial consultation to sit down with one of our doctors at no charge just to see if we feel like it's something we can help you with. If it is, we'll explain to you what we need to do. Uh, if it's not something we think we can help, then uh, we'll try to find the right specialist that we think you need to see in order to get the best results. So give our office a call, 704-588-588. 5560. Uh, get in here as soon as you can. Let's figure out, let's get to the bottom of this disc issue you're, you have going on. Let's see if we can get the problem corrected, see if we can get your life back. Hope you have a great afternoon and we'll see you soon.